Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm reviewing Reacher, the new streaming show from Amazon Prime that is based on the Jack Reacher book series created by Lee Child. And this is a spoiler for your review, with a full spoiler review following soon. The character was previously adapted in two movies starring Tom Cruise several years ago. While those movies were financially successful, they had a mixed, to say the least, response from serious fans of the books. Reacher stars Adam Richardson as Jack Reacher, a retired ex-major in the United States military police who now spends his days as a drifter, going from place to place across the country. Reacher visits the small town of Margrave, where he's almost immediately arrested for murder and gets drawn into a vast conspiracy involving kidnapping, torture and police corruption. With this series serving as a reboot of the Jack Reacher franchise, the show's creators have decided to go back to the very first book of the series, Killing Floor published way back in 1997. This was a very wise decision, as while the books are fairly standalone and can be read in any order, it was the first one published, so it's fitting that this is the one that they chose for the first in what will hopefully be a long-running TV series. Also, the story's small town setting was no doubt more conducive to a television budget. While the book was released 25 years ago, this adaptation is updated for the present day. Now we have to talk about Adam Richardson, and I'm glad to say that this guy is just perfect casting as Jack Reacher. In the books, Reacher is described as being over six feet tall and built like a tank. From the moment that Reacher appears in the first episode, Adam Richardson just embodies him in every single way. Richardson is a giant and physically very intimidating just as Reacher should be. Now this would all come from nothing if his acting wasn't up to much, but it really conveys the unique characteristics of Reacher. He has a dark, sarcastic sense of humour, usually after he does something particularly violent to an opponent, and also conveys what I call the Sherlock Holmes element of the character. He's extremely intelligent and doesn't seem to miss a thing. Why are you so confident in your theories? As confident as I am that you went to Harvard, you recently divorced and you quit smoking in the last six months. How'd you come up with that? My friend back there, Baker, he called you a Beantown bitch. And from all appearances, you're well-educated, but you took a job in the middle of nowhere with people that look nothing like you. You're stubborn, you have a chip on your shoulder, you don't care if your coworkers like you. A guy like that doesn't go to BU, he goes to Harvard. To show those blue blood assholes what he's capable of, am I right? You're also about 40, which means you did your 20 at Boston PD to get your pension so you can afford a proper Southern soup, but you still look like black Sherlock Holmes. It means no woman in your life making sure you dress right death or divorce. At your age, divorce is a higher probability, but you still wear the ring. By the wear on it, you play with it, obsess over it. Like I said, you're stubborn. What I really find interesting in Richardson's performance is that he actually underplays it in some ways. There are several scenes where it would be very easy to overplay how tough he is, but he's smart enough to know that his physical appearance does a lot of that work for him. When he's talking to certain people he's about to beat up, he does it in a kind of, I'm going to beat the hell out of you, I just haven't done it yet kind of way. While Reacher is extremely tough and may even appear slightly sadistic at times when it comes to killing, he has a surprisingly tender side. We get several flashbacks to his childhood and his relationship with his brother Joe and his mother. He also really likes dogs, which is conveyed in a minor subplot where Reacher takes care of an animal that he suspects is being mistreated by its owner. While I actually liked Tom Cruise's interpretation of the character, Richardson was clearly born to play Jack Reacher and I hope he plays him for many seasons to come. Reacher also stars Malcolm Goodwin as Detective Oscar Finlay, who helps Reacher investigate the conspiracy in Margrave. Finlay is the complete opposite of Reacher, who appears very by the book, and doesn't approve of Reacher's blunt instrument approach, but they make a very interesting pair, and a lot of their interactions lead to some of the best humour in the show. Willow Fitzgerald plays Officer Roscoe, who also helps Reacher investigate the Margrave conspiracy. More than being just the first Reacher girl of the series, she's tough and resilient, and a great match for Reacher. Speaking of strong female characters, I was surprised, pleasantly so, to see a major character who doesn't appear until much later in the book series make her debut in this adaptation. I don't want to name who this character is for fans who haven't watched the show yet, but let's just say you do not mess with the special investigators. And that's the great thing about this show. There are loads of Easter eggs and references for fans of the books. I don't want to go into too much detail about them until my spoiler review, but I just love the fact that one of the episodes is called 
reach or sit nothing. As far as the action in this show is concerned, it's got some of the best fight scenes I've seen in a television series for a long time. Reacher seems to get into at least one big fight in every episode. A particular highlight is a confrontation with an assassin during a visit to New York. It's definitely not for the squeamish. Those of you who have seen it know what I'm talking about. What's interesting though is that a lot of the show's best humour follows some of the most violent scenes. So even though you're squirming in your seat one minute, I guarantee you'll be laughing the next. Overall, this is a fantastic first season for Reacher. If you haven't read the books, it's a great introduction to the Jack Reacher character and a great thriller series in its own right. For fans of the novels, it's a terrific adaptation with a definitive lead performance by Adam Richardson. With season two just confirmed, I hope this show runs for a long time, as there's no shortage of books to adapt. Anyway, that concludes my spoiler-free review of Reacher season one. Look out for my spoiler review coming soon. We'll have a lot to talk about there. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.